Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back with another video and on this video I'm not going to be doing my makeup per se. This is a video about brushes. Um, a lot of you guys or a lot of us actually, myself included, have a lot of makeup brushes and we don't always know the purpose of each brush. Um, I did this video in order to help you guys learn how to use your makeup brushes and I am specifically going to be featuring um, one brand of brushes. However, I'm going to be going um, into all my other brushes to kind of make reference to something that's either similar or if I think they could have done better to kind of reference where they could have done better. This video specifically is going to be featuring the Hermosa Floor um, makeup brushes which um, Gorgeous Mbali recently released. Um, they go for 300 rands on her um, online store and I'm going to be talking about the brushes because I just used them for the first time actually to do this look which I also recorded but it's going to be on a separate video you guys will see it's actually really exciting because we have a guest on that video <laughs> um, but let's get right into it so guys here are the brushes it is a set of 15 brushes in total and it's got four or well, five face brushes and 10 eye brushes. Um, as I've said, some of them are not so clean anymore because I just used them for the first time to create this look that I have on. In general, facial brushes are always the bigger brushes, um, which kind of makes sense because that's the larger, um, flatter area of your face. And then eye brushes will be smaller because generally because eyes are smaller and to help you get into your eye space better. Um, and then the beauty blenders as well, which also came with the brush, but you can buy them separately for 100 rands. It comes in a set of two and this is the sponge wet and this is the sponge dry. One of the things that will show you that a beauty blender is good, it has to kind of grow in size when you put it under water. And that was the case, obviously, with the sponges. As, it, as I said, that this one is wet and this one is dry. It becomes bouncier and it generally absorbs less product if it's wet um, as opposed to if it's dry. You will find it much harder to blend out your creams um, or your powder if the sponge is wet i will use my beauty blenders a damp not really wet so that this the water is soaking out of the sponge and i use beauty blenders under my eyes to blend out my concealer or today for example i used a cream blush for the first time and i used the back of the beauty blender to blend out my cream blush so you would use beauty blenders for creams to get a seamless blend um, under your eyes, on your chin, on your nose, or anywhere where you want, just want a seamless blend. Some people prefer using beauty blenders to blend out their foundations. If I use a beauty blender, I find that I take, I tend to take longer than I would, as opposed to when I use a brush. So that is it for the beauty blender. And um, this one is slightly shaped. The flatter part would be used to blend out your foundation if you prefer using beauty blenders to blend out your foundation. The bigger brushes in general are used for powders and the more dense brushes would go would be used for creams. And that is the general rule of brushes because the wider the brush is, the less um, focused is going to be on a cream, um, but it will be able to blend out a powder better. These would generally be um, the biggest brush in a set. I have this one, which is probably the largest brush I have in my set of brushes. It's quite old. Powder brushes are less dense and more fluffy. Um, 
and if a, a brush is more pointed like this it helps you get onto the corners of your eyes better so you could definitely bake with this brush it would go under your eye perfectly which is what i did um with my makeup today the next brush in there um it's this one which is also a bit more pointier which as i said pointier brushes help you get under your eyes better and the more fluffy round ones are for the rest of the face this is what i use for my powder all over the face as well so it's a fluffy round um brush the next brush is this brush which would i would use as a foundation brush now there's two there's a flat one which i use for my foundation today and there's a more round one and um, this one you can use to blend out your concealer because what i found with this brush that even though it's a foundation bl uh, brush it is slightly smaller than what i prefer this brush which is by real techniques is what i normally use to blend out my foundation and slightly bigger than this one it helps me work faster than i would with this hermosa one that i used for the first time today and it's a good brush it just took me longer because it is smaller now i'm moving on to my liquid foundation brushes they are flatter on the sides they are less fluffy more dense and very flat brushes actually and these would help you blend out either your concealer under your eyes this one is smaller so i probably would use it for concealer under my eyes um this one is slightly wider so this i would generally i've been saying generally too many times in this video but i would use this for my liquid foundation um just to help spread it on my face and then come and blend it out with either a stippling brush or a beauty blender. A stippling brush um, is a brush that looks like this. So this type of brush has two different types of bristles. You can see that it has these black ones um, and these white ones. They may be the same color um, depending on the brand. But the purpose of the smaller ones is to help you blend out liquids. For demonstration purposes on on this brush the black ones help you help the white ones not move a lot while you blend out your liquid therefore giving you a seamless and a blended foundation look i don't use a stippling brush for my foundation but i do use it for my contour and um, it helps blend out my contour into the rest of my face quite well and i really enjoy it for that the next set of brushes are concealer brushes and this actually is by real techniques as well and it is said to be a contour brush but for me personally it's too small to be a contour brush it doesn't help me blend the darker shade into the lighter shade or into my foundation therefore i use it as a concealer brush um, under my eyes or um, instead of if I don't feel like using a beauty blender, I'll use this to blend out my concealer and to set the powder as well. So it's actually multifunctional. This is a Real Techniques um, setting brush. They say that you can use it to set your under eyes with your baking powder. Um, I know uh, TaylorMade Jane generally uses this brush for her concealer under her eyes. Um, I do sometimes too, but I honestly quite prefer a beauty blender for under my eyes. I can't live without it. Um, but some people prefer using the Surreal Techniques brush um, for that purpose. Blush brushes. This Hermosa Floor brush would actually function as a blush brush. Because it is pointier, it helps you distribute the blush um, on a concentrated area which obviously is your cheeks um other blush brushes i have you will see a blush brush by its shape it is also it also looks like a powder brush but it is slightly smaller so this would be a powder brush and they are the same shape this one is bigger this one is smaller so the smaller one would generally be for blush some of them are slightly slanted 
and they work the same purpose this one is by colors um from Foshini. this is an old one that i had from a set that i got from china mall um i've had these for years the last brush is this fan brush um fan brushes are used for highlighter so or to dust off any excess powder under your eyes when you're done with your makeup so it would help you put highlighter on your face much better on your nose um anyway where you want to put your highlighter on your face or if you're somebody that starts with the face first and then the eyes after this would help you dust off any fallout from your shadows i have another one that i got from china mall um slightly similar i didn't use this brush today so i can't tell you what i think about it um but they are very very similar i think that is it for our face brushes i'm now going to move on to our eyes brushes the first brush that i have for that is this one by real techniques it says it is a deluxe concealer brush i do use it for concealer but only to prime my eyes so i use it on top of my eyes when i apply my concealer wider again wider fluffier brushes would be for blending out your transition colors so for demonstration that will be the colors that are on the outer parts of the eye the color that would be closest to your shade and these would look like this so they are fluffy um either flat or round um, all these three are from Hermosa Floor. This is the disadvantage that I found with the Hermosa Floor brushes is that their blending brushes, all of them are quite big. Um, there's not a brush small enough to get into like concentrated areas. If you wanted to have a look on your eyes that included a lot of colors, um, there, is, there is not enough smaller blending brushes for that purpose. So what I meant when I was talking about smaller blending brushes um, was these brushes. So let me take, so this is a Hermosa Floor brush and this is from another set that I have. There's not a brush that is small enough for you to blend out um, colors that you want to be concentrated and dark enough. You can't have 10 brushes in a set and not have one brush that is small enough to get into the smaller areas of the eyes um, so the purpose of smaller blending brushes as i said are to get onto the smaller concentrated areas of the eyes and to really help you be precise as you blend out um, whatever colors you're working with Another type of blending brush is this one that is slightly slanted. So this is a really good brush. Um, I enjoy using a brush like this. It's very useful for also if you make mistakes. It helps you kind of correct it without messing up the rest of the eye. Um, the set also came with two um, packing brushes. So a packing brush would be a brush that is flat and very thin thin on the side like that now these are two different ones it's a bigger one and a smaller one so the bigger one for me personally i use this to pack um eyeshadow that is mostly shimmer shades so the lighter part of my eye look today that is what i used um to pack that lighter shade on it helps you really um pack on two larger areas of the eye like that especially for shimmer shades and then the small one i would probably use this one for the concealer and then come with this one to pack the powder so this one would help you get like really precise and um, that sharp um cut crease whereas this one would help you pack the powder um quicker i'm going to show you one that i've been using in the past i actually customized this one myself because it was also um rounded like that so i kind of made it angled like that in order for me to be able to get like really precise cut creases um this is an angled brush the angle brush's purpose is to help you shape your brows but honestly i think this one is too thick on the side it is not thin enough for me to 
pack really pack concealer on it and get that sharp line that i like on my brows i probably would use an uh, use it on the top of my brows because i don't mind if the top of my brows are not sharp enough but the bottom has i mean it has to be sharp the next set of brushes are packing eyeshadow brush i actually made a mistake these are flat brushes rather packing brushes for eyeshadow um you would use to pack the shadow on to get the most pigment from your shadow and then you would use the blending brush to blend that out i have quite a quite a bit quite a lot of those actually and i just wanted to show you i just want to pick up another one okay this one is by carla i get the brand is by Diskim, so i got it from this game and this one is from another old set that i have here's one by hermosa so this one is slightly more pointy I hope this is not too much information um, to get you overwhelmed and get you thrown off. I hope I am making sense and making a lot of the brushes that you have make sense for you. Um, the last two brushes I have, can you believe it? We're done. The last two brushes I have are, um, this is an eyebrow brush. So this an eyelash actually. So if you have false lashes, you could, you could use the side to brush them out and make sure that um, they are straight. You can also use this for your brows. So this is a brush for hairs basically. Um, same purpose as this one. This is a spoolie and I use my spoolie to pick up soap for my soap brows. And I also use it to just brush out um, my brows when I'm done if I feel like they're not in a straight line or if I feel like I just want to get them to a different direction um, if I made a mess or if I put too much mascara on my bottom lash sometimes I will use it to blend um, to just separate the hairs if I feel like the mascara is clumpy Okay, so I lied. We're not done yet. Um, I forgot about the lip brush and the eyeliner brush. So lip brushes would be the second to tiniest brushes in your set. Um, I don't think these are in general for professionals. I don't think that we need to use lip brushes unless you really want to get, you know, that sharp Cupid's bow or it's like a really bold color and you don't want it to be all over because it is going to be obvious for more bold colors if they're not straight and they're able to get you to draw really sharp lines on your lips i sometimes use my lip brushes to cut my creases as well if i feel like i really want uh if i feel like the brush the other brush that i use is not small enough for that i will use a lip brush um, so it multi-functions as that. Now the last brush in your set of brushes or my set of brushes um, is a gel liner brush. So you, you would use this to pick up um, gel liner. So this brush would be able, is able to help you get like sharp lines like that for your wing liner or any liner in general this brush you don't really need to buy because most liners will come with a brush or yeah if it's a liquid liner it definitely will come with its own brush but also if it's a gel liner if you happen to lose your brush i guess that's the only time where you will actually need to buy um, a gel liner brush but of course generally all the liners that you would buy would come with a brush i just wanted to show you different ones so this is another like fine tip one that came in um this Carla is it by Carla? Oh, it's by Nina K and it's a brown liner that I have. And guys, that is a wrap. Can you believe it? Um I hope I did not overwhelm you with information and I mean, you won't always use or have to have all of these brushes. As I explained that some of my brushes I use for more than one purpose. So if you have a beauty blender, you probably would not need to get a concealer brush because you can use your beauty blender for that. Like this Real Techniques brush, for example, 
I would use this brush as my for my foundation definitely I would also use it for my powder so some brushes are um, multi-purposeful and you don't really need to have all the brushes in the world to feel like you can get your makeup to slay um, I hope that I showed you tips and tricks on how to use different brushes for more than one purpose um, which is actually the purpose of this video you don't have to have or you don't have to feel the pressure or be intimidated by somebody that you see using a thousand different brushes i hope you learned a lot if you did please let me know down below if you've bought the hermosa floor um brushes please let me know what you think of them i haven't used all of them so i can't really say with some of them what i think about them i'll probably will do another video where i properly review the brushes um otherwise Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to comment, to like the video um, because it helps my videos pop up so that more people can see them. If you have not subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And turn on the notification bell so that you know when I have a video out. Thank you guys. See you on my next one. Mwah.